That's right, you can now play the classic racer Wipeout right in your browser or natively on Mac or Linux. Also on Windows, but technically it was always on Windows. Let's talk about how this came to be. The gameplay may not be as deep as your Gran Turismo's or even your Burnout's, but Wipeout is a solid series of racing games. I love the feel of the hovercrafts and the futuristic aesthetic. Unironically, I think if you ignore the 240p resolution, these graphics are still pretty impressive looking. Though to be honest, I haven't really followed the series a lot since the PS1, and from what I can tell, most people are in that boat. There have been a few more entries released as recently as 2022, but I think when most people talk about Wipeout, they're thinking of the classics. And they don't get more classic than the original game from 1995, whose source code was leaked last year in 2022. Somehow I'd managed to completely miss this until now. According to an announcement by Twitter user Forest of Illusion, it includes the source code to both the original PS1 version and the Windows PC port, though they explicitly provide no guarantee that the code is actually in a usable state. But that hasn't stopped anyone, there are at least three community revival projects based on this code. Wipeout Phantom Edition is a community enhanced fork that adds new features and functionality. It makes improvements to just about everything from graphics to sound to even the physics. I have to say the high resolution and uncapped frame rate look buttery smooth on my new 170Hz monitors, though it also has a 240p mode for a more nostalgic feel. It's very impressive and a lot of fun, though there is one thing it isn't. Open source. Since they're working directly with the aforementioned leak, redistributing it would be akin to leaking even more, so they've opted not to do it, which is fair enough. Companies don't tend to like people doing that. The GitHub page, which I'll link in the description, provides only builds and only for Windows, though it does work flawlessly in Wine, which is what you're seeing here. But if you want something more portable and open source and don't necessarily care about all those extra features, what you want to look at is Wipeout Rewrite, where a developer by the name of Phobos Lab rewrote the whole game to be much cleaner and abstracted everything to be much more platform agnostic. It too allows high resolutions and uncaps the frame rate. I turned on the FPS display and found it often reached an astounding 6,000 frames per second. And with this, you have a much more flexible code base, not only compiling to other desktop OSs, but amazingly, WebAssembly, so you can just run the whole thing in a browser. It's kind of insane. This also means it works on mobile. Now, I'm no fan of touch controls, but the fact that this works at all, I mean, what a time to be alive. Imagine trying to explain to someone in 1995 that one day, entire PlayStation games could be streamed over the internet and played entirely in a web browser. Phobos Lab has an excellent write-up of how he did all this, which I'll link in the description. Hopefully we'll see even more ports come out of this. I'd love to see a Switch port or an, hell, an OG Xbox port. Anyways, I just wanted to shine some light on some very cool community Wipeout projects. Now, if only the source code to Wipeout 3 could leak sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this video and if you want me to cover any more retro community game news. But otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.